Jay, how did you start your hair? Um, I want to start my locks. How can I start my locks? <laughs> Like lilies, was popping, 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 was popping. Pop, pop, pop. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of Shea. If you don't know who I am, I'm Essence of Shea. I am the leader of the Tiger Lily Squad. Gang, gang. Getting right into our daily affirmation today's daily affirmation is i love myself and i treat myself kindly say it again i love myself and i treat myself kindly today i'm using my phone to record and i don't know where i'm supposed to be looking i'm supposed to be looking here am i supposed to be looking right there and where my where where are you supposed to be looking girl so if it looks like i'm looking all over the place I am. Anyways, back to our daily affirmation. I love myself and treat myself with kindness. How much of you guys are not doing this right now? You are loving everyone else. You're making time to treat everybody else with kindness. But are you doing that for yourself? I guarantee you're not. I guarantee you're not. So repeat after me, sis. What? I love myself and I treat myself with what? Kindness. Say it again. I love myself and I treat myself with what? Kindness. Let's get right into the video. In today's video, but before we get anything started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys see the shirts. You guys are always asking me for my LOC shirts. If you look in the description box, like, not even the description box, but in between the description box and the comment section, you will see like links for t-shirts. Go and purchase you some. Stop asking about it, cause now it's there. So if you're not buying it, I just feel like you just full of talk. You feel me sis? You just full of chat. You a chatterbox, see? So I get this question a lot asking me like, Shay, how did you start your hair? Um, I wanna start my locks. How can I start my locks? What are the different type of locks? Because I see you got this, but I see somebody else. And blase, bloop, bloop, bloop. And how you get your hair thick? Like, what's the parting system? So I decided, hmm. Hmm. So I'm going to tell you how I started my locks, my parting system, and everything like that. But I'll also tell you everything else in case what I started my locks with you necessarily don't want to start your locks the same way if that's the case so i started my locks i guess traditionally um two strand twists um and i think i've always had either 60 to like 70 locks i don't think i had any more than 75 locks um, the parting system, mine is really like a brick shape, um, but I didn't really focus on that. And I also started it myself, so that was cheap. So I didn't have to pay anybody to do that. So that's, that's me. Now, the different way, the different locks are um, sister locks which are really tiny um, twists. I always suggest if you're gonna do sister locks that you get that professionally done because sister locks is a little difficult, I feel like, to get started. You can start it by yourself, but if you go to a specialist, get ready to pay a little penny, I would say close to like 600 bucks. It just depends on who you're going to. If I'm saying anything wrong, please leave in the comment box below. But sister locks is a little difficult to get started, not for it to lock, but the, just the pres precision, the pr precision of the lock, um, the size of the lock. You just it's really specific. But 
I do give Sister Locks a good hand because you can do a lot with Sister Locks. Like, it really is very versatile as opposed to like traditional locks. Traditional locks are versatile, but there's certain things you just cannot do with um, traditional locks, which would be the comb coils, two strand twists. I would consider those traditional locks. Um, if you go get them professionally done, I would say two, three hundred bucks, depending on how you're going to. You could possibly stretch 150 um, but those are a little expensive as well another set of locks I would suggest are semi semi free form which is not twisted as much as a traditional lock is semi free form um, usually the root is out and not really you you miss the parts sometimes because you'll go like four to six months or six to eight months without um necessarily twisting your hair but that is usually started off with a traditional lock and then once it does its thing then you just you kind of leave it alone and then if another form of lock would be free form which i tried to do but my locks was like nah sis we not we're not gonna do that we we don't like it. no we don't like it so i went back to so i feel like i'm right in between semi semi free form and traditional i'm saying traditional but i'm meaning manipulated locks where you're retwisting your hair more frequently you see the parts Da da da, but then semi free form is you're twisting your hair, but you're not twisting it as much as you're doing manipulated locks, if that makes sense. Um, while I'm talking, there are gonna be pictures up and through because I want y'all to see like what I'm talking about. So, those are the different type of locks. I also heard about braided locks, but I've that's like when you start your hair braided as opposed to twists. Or comb coils or freeform where freeform you just let your hair do what it has to do I feel like freeform is probably the cheapest way to start your locks because you really just let it do, do what it do sis and then contrary to people's uh, beliefs people with freeform locks do pull apart they do pull apart they lock sometimes not all the time a lot of them don't but some do because you still some will still want to manipulate how their lock is growing like say for instance the weekend or uh bob marley could you say bob marley is free form you could say he's free form but it still was manageable in a sense does that make sense right so back to the braided one braided locks i would say braided locks is the same as uh manipulated slash tr traditional locks because it's braided and it's going to turn into locks but the thing about it is is that i feel like it will take a little longer for that the braid pattern to disappear you know what i'm saying that's uh, like two strand twists that, that, that takes a little longer for the coils to come together and lock up before you don't see that twisting pattern anymore. So I feel like if it takes a little time with two strand, it'll probably be even longer with a three-stranded braid. Um, pros and cons, semi-free form and free form locks. I don't think you will use that much product in your hair, so you're not going to the store that much to buy stuff. Traditional locks, you're retwisting your hair a little bit more. So if you're do if you're paying somebody else, so imagine you're you're spending like 160 to get your hair retwisted plus products that you'll buy to come home. So that's gonna cost you a pretty penny. And even if you are not paying somebody else you're still buying product or unless you're like me or Keisha or somebody where you have your own product but you're still trying other people's products so it's still you're still spending money you know what I'm saying people make it seem like locks is so friggin cheap it's not sis it's not <laughs> also with sister locks you can start sister locks uh, with permed hair and you can start sister locks just fully natural traditional locks like the like mines 
you cannot start with permed hair. It's just not gonna work out. You're gonna have all kind of problems. But if you have permed hair and you do wanna start your lock journey, I would suggest going down the sister lock lane. But if you don't want sister locks, you might have to like cut it and start over or you can put like lock extensions and just wait for it to grow out and then you can remove the extensions y'all saw me hating a little bit i was um, so i told you guys how i started my locks i started with two strand twists but you can start locks with two strand twists you can start it with comb coils you can start it with the braids um you can start it i've seen people start theirs with interlocking um i've heard a lot of um my your miami flight is now 300 dollars round trip oh, i'm sorry i'm going to miami carnival so i'm looking at tickets um a lot of people that i heard in the comment section they started their locks were interlocking which i did not know you could do but they did um and you can start with palm rolling also you can start it with the the tear and the tear the the comb and twist girl i don't, I don't know I don't know there's plethora of ways that you can start your locks um the cheapest route once again you could do them yourself which i did or you can have a family a friend do it and probably would charge you nothing or a little or you can go to the style the hairstyle salons and they'll charge you a pretty penny i still up to this day don't understand how they charge you that much to put some twist in your hair but you know, people gotta make money. It's a business, sis. It's a business. And uh, as far as patterns go, like I stated, mine's is a brick, almost like diamond, is in the middle type pattern. Those are the best for thick locks. I That's my recommendation. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment box below. Brick, diamond, and the U part. Like, it looks like a U also. And what else? That's the only three that I really recommend. Anything else? So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked what I discussed in this video. If I missed anything out, please leave it in the comment box below. Um, and let me know how you started your locks and how your lock journey has been thus far. Sis or king. Because you know there's some dudes out here too. <laughs> um don't forget to like a comment and subscribe i will be announcing the winner for the beats on sunday so if you have not entered in that giveaway what you doing know, the get the rules are simple you're subscribed here you're following me on instagram and under whatever latest picture it is pound hashtag tiger lily Tiger Lily Squad, stand up. Alright? See you later, Tiger Lilies. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.